Hey guys, it's Matt from Tech One Biomedical. Somebody recently posted in a Facebook histology forum a question about an issue they were having with their Thermo Shandon Excelsior tissue processor. Um, I figured I'd do a video to address that question and I think it's going to start a series of videos on the Excelsior. Now that's not to say there's anything wrong with the Excelsior, it's as good as any other tissue processor. They all have their little quirks and problems and if they didn't, I wouldn't be in business. So I guess you can be thankful for that. Anyway, if you're interested, stick around and watch. Thanks. So the problem this lab was having was that the computer on the tissue processor went down in the middle of the night. Um, and if you've ever worked with computers, and I know you have, uh, you definitely know that can happen. Um, in this situation though, what had happened was um, the tissue was in the chamber under vacuum, and when there's vacuum on the chamber, you can't get the lid open. So in order to get the lid open, we'll have to release the vacuum, and fortunately Thermo came up with a very elegant and simple uh, way to do that. So if you do end up with a stuck lid on your Excelsior, it's pretty easy to release the pressure that's holding it down. So you're going to start by opening up this door, which just turn this knob. Then you'll notice behind here, there are two filters, a lower filter and an upper filter, and there's a spacer in between them. You're gonna remove the spacer. Um, then you're going to want to remove the upper filter. Now honestly this upper filter doesn't have to come out for the next uh, procedure but it just makes it a little bit easier to see for you guys. So I've removed it and now you'll see this red plug right here. Uh, if you remove this red plug it will allow the vacuum in the chamber to escape and you'll be able to open it. So we'll remove it. You hear the little hiss there, that's the air rushing into the chamber. And now you should be able to open your chamber with no problems at all. Anyway, um, hopefully you found that interesting and helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, call me, email me, comment below. And thanks for watching. remove the upper filter. Um, you actually don't have to remove the upper filter for this next procedure, but it just makes it a little easier to see for the camera.